Well, welcome everyone. Uh, whether you're joining us live or watching the recording, we're so glad that you joined us to learn more about what uh, about this spectacular Alaskan cruise with Holland America. So first I'll introduce ourselves. We're Suzanne and Steve Clausen, and we are the owners of Cruise One in Sholo, Arizona. This whole theme of this presentation tonight is that you deserve more, more of Alaska and more perks on board. So we're gonna be kind of going over that. We're gonna see how you're gonna get even more uh, by booking this particular cruise with our agency and all of our wonderful perks that we have for you. So here's our agenda for night. We're gonna introduce a little bit about our agency. We're gonna talk about the, the 28 day unforgettable Alaska experience. And then we're gonna talk about um, the onboard experience with Holland America. We're gonna talk about the Cruise One exclusives, some things that you won't get booking direct with Holland America or anywhere else. And then get ready to set sail. The, the venture is going to be tremendous. So here we go. So first I'm gonna introduce you to us. Um, whether you found us maybe through our advertising or we were referred by friends, I want you to kind of get to know us, feel comfortable booking with us. Um, I'm happy to do a phone consultation with you, talk to you about your cruise plans, your dreams. Um, I build very strong relationships with my clients and most of my business comes from repeats and referrals. Uh, and clients are never just a transaction to me. Uh, people who I consider some of my closest friends or clients with whom I've sailed on one of our escorted group cruises I've worked with for years to help them plan fantastic dream vacations. This is our 11th year in business. In 2019, our uh, franchise association gave, gave me the, uh, awarded me the Opal Award and it's for community leadership and sales leadership in 2020 and 21. I used my downtime to earn my master cruise counselor certification. And in 2023, I am one of the top 2% of Cruise One Dream Vacation franchises. I also earned my elite cruise counselor, which is the Cruise Line Association International's highest certification for um, travel agent certifications for cruising. Um, our business model is very customer focused and we focus on exceptional customer service. I've been cruising myself for 48 years. There's some pictures from my very first cruise in 1975 when I was just eight years old. My dad was in sales and if he had a good year, he took the whole family. But Steve and I love partnering with Holland America. Uh, we took our honeymoon cruise to Alaska 30 years ago with them. And most recently we sailed with them on a 24 night cruise to Greenland, uh, Canadian Maritimes and Iceland. What a fantastic trip that was. Uh, Last August, uh, that was last August we did that. We also love Alaska and we just really feel like there's no better way to go see Alaska than with Holland America. We're avid travelers ourselves and you know, with the internet, it's good on cruise ships now. We are able to run our business from anywhere in the world and we consider our own personal travel an investment in our clients' experience. We use our firsthand knowledge and travel experience to deliver exceptional travel experiences to our clients. Um, I want you to know I work on your, my client's behalf. I have lots of training and experience to guide customer decisions. Uh, there is a cruise line, I say, to fit every style and budget, everything from Carnival to Seaborn. Uh, and the best kept secret in travel is that you pay the same price or a better rate by booking through a travel agent like me than you would booking directly with the cruise line. Uh, the commissions that we earn are built into the price, whether you use a travel agent or not. So it's always to your benefit to use a, a highly skilled professional travel agent to guide you when you're booking all your cruise experiences. Um, I am easily accessible, phone, text, email, nearly 24 seven. And again, I work for you, my clients. We're going to talk about more. So you get more service by booking through me. You're going to get more perks um, through Holland America. This is the best time to book it. They are doing the Have It All Plus promotion. Um, and it applies to our sailing that we're here specifically to talk about. You get the upgraded beverage package, the upgraded internet, plus gratuities for your housekeeping and dining staff which Holland America does not always include. Uh, plus you get uh, $300 per person shore excursion credit for the 28 day cruise, 
three nights of specialty dining and a low price guarantee. So now I'm gonna turn it over to Amanda Ward, who is my um, business development manager with Holland America. And she's gonna kind of introduce us to what the onboard Holland American experience is and what their philosophy is about bringing people to Alaska. So take it away, Amanda. Hello, everybody. I'm excited to be here with you and talk a little bit about Holland America, our history with Alaska, and our incredibly unique itinerary that Suzanne and Steve are hosting. So we're really excited to talk about it. One, because Alaska is such an amazing destination. There's so much to see and so much to do. And it really, really comes to life when you travel to this wonderful destination. And also just getting to sail with Holland America who has an incredible history there. This is our 76th year in Alaska. So we have phenomenal relationships with the ground handlers. We've really perfected everything and we bring benefits to you that you just can't get with anybody else. So a lot of times when we're looking at Alaska, people are always asking, when's the best time to go? What should I do? I can tell you there is never a bad time to go to Alaska. We go to Alaska during the most popular times, which is May through October. And this is really great because you're going to get to see spring, summer, and fall during these months. So if you take a look at this chart right here, you can really see that no matter what time you go, you're going to get some great benefits. This cruise, when you sail in 2025, is going to be in June. So you can see during June is going to be one of the best times to go because you are seeing so much. There's so much opportunity to get to see during that time frame. So why Holland America? I mentioned that we've been there for 76 years, but what we bring is really a unique experience. First off, you can kind of see that picture to the right where we have our open bow, just giving you the most opportunity on and off the ship to see as much as possible is extremely important to us. This is really going to come into play when we are in places like Glacier Bay or we're getting to see Hubbard Glacier. This is where it's going to mean the most and you're going to get the best experience. We're going to bring great opportunities while you're on board the ship with our rangers coming on board, our naturalists, just making sure that you're getting to learn the most about the destination and really immersing yourself, which is fantastic. We also talk about our history as a cruise line. Food. How important is food? I know Suzanne's going to talk about this many times because her and I are both foodies and we have to talk about it because it's so important. So we actually are fully sustainable with our seafood in Alaska. What does that mean? That means that we can actually trace back every piece of seafood that we have on our ship back to when it was caught and by who within a local Alaska uh, producer. So this is really fantastic. We are able to really bring in the freshest, best quality seafood for you. So a lot of neat ways to get to take advantage of that in our different restaurants, some of our excursions, being able to have that cuisine, getting to learn more about the destination, uh, taking advantage of some of those great excursions. If you want to be more active, maybe be a little more relaxed, lots of opportunity with our excursions on board and entertainment. We are number one in Glacier Bay. What does this mean? Well, they only allow two ships into Glacier Bay each day. Just two out of all the cruise ships that go, only two can go into Glacier Bay. And we are almost always one of them. We have the most entrances into Glacier Bay every Alaska season. This means that you automatically with Home America are going to get to see even more. So this is fantastic because this only increases your experience, gives you the opportunity to see even more wildlife, get to see some of these iconic glaciers like Marjorie, which is fantastic. This is the place where you really get to see that clear crystal water, see some of those humpback whales, possibly see some bears on the shore. Such a neat opportunity to be in Glacier Bay. And this is where we take you. Wildlife. When we think of Alaska, we absolutely think of the possibility of wildlife. 
and you will get to see wildlife going on a cruise in Alaska. You're going to get to see the orcas, the humpback whales, the sea otters, the sea lions. So many neat opportunities to get out there and see this wildlife. So pretty neat opportunities just while you're sailing, but also some great opportunities when you are in port. So we're going to go to some of these main ports, Juneau, Skagway, Ketchikan, Sitka. These are pretty iconic ports where you're going to get to either kayak, do some whale watching, take advantage of the White Pass Rail, one of the most popular excursions out there. But also, you're going to get to see some incredible, unique destinations that you can't go anywhere else except on an itinerary like this one. You're going to go get into ports that you just can't get to on other ships and see something so unique and different. So this is the itinerary we're going to talk about today, this 28-day round trip Seattle. So you are going to really get to go in depth with Suzanne and talk about some of these great places. If you just take a little look at the right on that map, you can see that we're hitting all of those big ports, but we're getting up to the Arctic Circle. We're seeing Nome, which is so famous for the Iditarod, getting into my favorite place, Valdez, which is such a cute, kitschy little place in Alaska. So some neat, neat ways to get to explore this destination. So Suzanne's gonna go a little bit more in depth to these ports to make sure you know exactly how fantastic this trip is when you get it booked. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. So uh, this is a little bit bigger view of that map. And you see, again, how much more of Alaska you see on this cruise than on a seven day. You're gonna have four glacier experiences, Hubbard Glacier, College Fjord, Glacier Bay and Tracy Arm Freeboard. There is there's no other sailing that offers you four glacier experiences in Alaska. Um, plus, you'll visit ports like Dutch Harbor, Nome, Kodiak. Again, they can't be visited on a standard Alaska cruise. Plus, you have overnight in Anchorage that gives you some extra time to spend in that area, see the largest city in Alaska. And we'll talk about each of those ports as we kind of go through. So Ketchikan is one of those old favorites. If you've been to Alaska before, you've probably been to Ketchikan. Uh, there's wonderful things to visit, like the old red light district called Creek Street. They have that wonderful kitschy lumberjack show. You can do a crab fishing experience where they actually have a boat and a crew from Deadliest Catch. And they take you in these calm inland waters, but they share their experiences as being Bering Sea crab fishermen. A very interesting way to learn about Alaskan culture. Of course, you can do hiking, you can do float planes to Tongass National Forest, all kinds of things in this area. Another, another favorite is Sitka. You might want to attend the performances by the Russian dancers known as the New Archangel Dancers, or maybe go to the one of the beautiful areas for wildlife viewing. There is an otter raft there that you can go see, a whole colony of, of otters. There's also a great place for bear viewing. Hubbard Glacier. Uh, it's an advancing glacier in the Yucata Bay, and it's over six miles across on the face. So spectacular glacier viewing day from the ship. Often you can spot seals hauled out on the icebergs. Uh, this glacier calves a lot, so it might even be something that you're able to catch that phenomenon of. Prince William Sound. It is a 10,000 square mile protected waterway uh, in the inland fjords of Alaska. There are 150 glaciers in the Prince William Sound nature area. Uh, the area is home to humpback whales, orcas, porpoises, sea otters, sea lions, seals. Uh, the coastline is home to 30 species of land animals, including the black bears, the grizzly bears, mountain goats, and doll sheep. Over 220 species of birds live in this area. Uh, so this is a place, if you are a wildlife lover, where you are going to get those binoculars out and try to, you know, soak in as much as you can. Uh, Valdez is a port that you have there, and you can really get an authentic Alaskan experience there. There's a museum, antiques, uh, the first barrel of oil to ever throw, flow through the pipeline is there in a little museum. And when we visited in 1993 on our honeymoon, we actually did whitewater rafting. Um, in It's on the low river in Keystone, Keystone Canyon. Uh, College Fjord. So this is one of those days that it's beautiful scenic sailing. This is home to five tidewater glaciers and a dozen or so hanging valley glaciers. Uh, the area was first charted by the Harriman Expedition in 1899. 
And the professors at Harvard and Amherst named the glaciers after all of the elite colleges in the Northeast. But interestingly enough, noticeably absent is their arch rival, Princeton. There's no Princeton Glacier. Sorry, Princeton graduates. Um, Seward is the next place we're going to visit. It's Fishing Village. It's the actual terminus of the Alaskan Railroad. And it is the start of the Iditarod Trail. The trail, not the race, because the race starts in Anchorage. Um, it's home to all kinds of Alaskan sea life. There's a, a sea life center, which is kind of like an aquarium. Kenai Fjords National Park, which is a place where you can do a scenic sailing and go see glaciers up close. Uh, the next place we're going to visit is Dutch Harbor. Um, this is a place that is synonymous with fishing and history. Uh, there was a World War II battleground, and it was also prominently featured area in the show Deadliest Catch. And it is the number one fishing port in the U.S. with pollock and cod from the Bering Sea being the most plentiful catches. Um, and I have to have a picture of the doggos when it comes to Nome because that's the terminus of the Iditarod race. And the most famous dog sledding race in the world. The race goes along the same trail that the famous life-saving relay of the diphtheria sermon. <laughs> Say that 10 times fast, let's start it over. The race goes along the same trail as the famous life-saving relay of the diphtheria serum. And if you haven't seen the movie Balto or Togo, those are two Disney movies that tell the story. Uh, Togo was really the dog that led for, for most of the relay. Um, it's very interesting, beautiful scenery, great history in that movie. Um, Nome is a place where you're going to learn a lot, a lot about the gold rush. You're going to be able to take wildlife tours and possibly see musk oxen. Um, I have been to the Arctic two times, and I've yet to see a live musk oxen. So that's on my bucket list of things I need to go see. And in town, there's all kinds of opportunities to learn about native arts. Um, you can even learn about the Bering Sea land bridge, which is how people got from Asia to North America um, in the ancient past. Little Diomede Island is where you can literally see tomorrow as it is the international dateline. It's located between, it's located, the dateline is located between Little Diomede and Big Diomede. And the nickname for Little Diomede is Yesterday Island. It has a small population of about 146 people who are mostly native Alaskan. And we'll do a scenic sail by on this island. So we might, you know, who, who knows? The captain might even go from today to tomorrow to back again, you know, in, in, in a few minutes time. The Arctic Circle. So it is located at just over 66 degrees north um, on land, the points where the Arctic Circle is are actually often marked with like a line painted across the road or maybe a, a monument on the side of the road. Of course, we won't have that in the middle of the ocean, but Holland America is usually good about commemorating when you sail by significant landmarks and they'll give you things like a certificate that shows you cross the Arctic Circle, which is kind of something fun to, to add your, to your collection of, of bucket list things that you've done. Um, Kodiak. This is on a hundred mile long island and it's Alaska's largest and it's the second largest island in the U.S. Um, it's a great place for bear viewing. So you might look at an excursion that does that. Um, you can do ocean fishing, kayaking, and there's lots of history museums. There's even a Russian Orthodox church known as the Holy Resurrection Cathedral with a beautiful blue onion dome that is famous in this, in this city. So Anchorage. This is the largest city in Alaska. It has a 300,000 people population. Uh, there's all kinds of parks and recreation opportunities around Anchorage. Uh, there is the Chugach State Park. It borders the city. Literally, you can just take a cab to a hiking point, go hiking. Um, there's a Native American Heritage Museum, Aviation Museum, because we know that aviation is a huge part of, of conquering Alaska because there's so many places that you, in Alaska still that you can only reach by float plane. Um, it's also popular for, for activities like fishing, again, flight seeing uh, because of the aviation and uh, shopping for those, those of you that want to do some shopping, uh, Anchorage is a great place. And for those of you who like to fish, right in the middle of downtown Anchorage, there's a river runs through it. 
There's an outfitter that rents everything you need for an authentic fishing experience. Uh, you can get waders, you know, the, the high-waisted rubber pants, um, uh, fishing equipment, and they even will sell that $15 out-of-state single-day fishing license. So you're, you're legal and you're ready to go fish in Anchorage. Homer. So Homer's on the Kenai Peninsula, and it has about 5,000 residents. I actually have a friend that lives there. Um, it is home to panoramic views. They have beautiful white peaks and mountains, and there's the famous Homer Spit, and that's where beachcombers and wildlife can, you can kind of walk out on that spit that you see right here. There's actually restaurants and, and uh, shops and things like that out on that spit, uh, but you can see um, bald eagles and sea otters there and you can even rent a rod and reel and do some fishing there and uh they can you can visit there's a, a saloon there called the salty dog saloon glacier bay uh, this is one of those that special day that hull in america brings you that not every cruise line can bring to you there are seven active tidewater glaciers in glacier bay the surrounding mountains are 15,000 feet tall. So it's very dramatic, sea level to 15,000 feet. Uh, the bay was created when the glaciers receded more than 30 miles between 1794 and 1879. It was named a World Heritage Site in 1992. Uh, and this park is home to a vast array of marine life, including humpback whales, orcas, stellar sea lions, harbor seals, sea otters, porpoises. So, so be out on that deck all day, have your binoculars in your Zoom camera so you can catch some of this amazing wildlife uh, as you're sailing through this gorgeous scenic area. Um, you can sometimes even see moose, wolves, uh, deer and mountain goats and even bald eagles kind of like on the shoreline. So it's a really beautiful place to spot some of that Alaska wildlife, which is one of the main reasons people go to Alaska. Haines is this little small community. Um, it's one of the few communities in Alaska that's connected to Canada by a road. And it's nearby to Skagway. So if you are in Haines, you can take that White Pass and Yukon train trip, which, which is one of the most popular. There's also an opportunity you can take a scenic drive uh, as a tour into Canada. And Juneau. Know. Do you know what the capital of Alaska is? Do you know? Okay, really, really bad joke. <laughs> but uh, Juno's capital, and it is one of my favorite places to visit. Uh, you can take a helicopter ride to a glacier, and you can even go high into the mountains and do dog sledding. So you get off the helicopter, you meet a mushing team, you can go dog sledding. Um, the town can also be enjoyed with simply a walk from the cruise ship. You can take the Sky Tram up to Mount Roberts, um, enjoy the scenic views, or come back down and visit one of the restaurants to have a box of fish and chips or maybe some king crab legs. Uh, there's also a recently renovated Alaska State Museum. And this the displays are world-class in this museum now. And there's so much history that they are documenting in all of Alaska because it is the state capital. You really can learn a lot about the state just by visiting the museum. And we are in this port from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. So there's even an opportunity to maybe do more than one excursion, maybe do whale watching in the morning and then you go to the glacier in the afternoon. So Tracy on Fjord, this is home to the Sawyer Glacier. Uh, this fjord features several S curves, which means you kind of get a new view every time you come around the corner. Uh, there's also waterfalls along the way. You want to keep your eyes open as we sail through because you might see a bear, a deer, wolves, a uh, variety of birds. Uh, mountain goats can even sometimes be seen, you know, right in the cliffs near near the glacier. And then Rangel, um, you'll find a scenic harbor there and a lots of the Tinglet culture. Now, the Tinglet people have been living in this area of the world for thousands of years, and examples of their culture and history are kind of easy to spot all over Wrangell. Uh, the town is home to an impressive collection of totems. And with more than a dozen scattered throughout town, you can kind of make a pleasant go on a totem pole walk. And one of the most popular totems is the killer whale totem that adorned Chief Shake's grave. Uh, there's also a petroglyph beach, and you'll might find more than 48,000-year-old petroglyphs. Uh, and if you bring a piece of paper and some crayons, you can make a rubbing from the replicas that are at the visitor center. So not the real thing, but you can kind of, you know, take a little piece of Alaska home with you. 
Prince Rupert, Canada. Again, a lot of history there, first settled by humans over 5,000 years ago. Um, it is the transportation hub of British Columbia's northeast coast. Uh, visitors can enjoy activities. You can go golfing there, whale watching, nature walks. Uh, there's even a canning museum and a city museum. So Steve and I, we are your Alaska experts. We have visited six times already. And I recently attended two Visit Alaska uh, presentations at some of my my travel agent uh, continuing education. Uh, the lady that was from uh, Anchorage, and she she did a great presentation. Uh, that's where I learned about the fishing in downtown Anchorage. And there's so much more to learn. But um, we, we, we are here to help you make sure that you get the most out of your Alaska experience. This 28 night cruise, again, we're talking about more. You get more opportunities to see the beauty, the history, the wonderful things that make Alaska so special. Um, here's a look at the incredible four glacier experiences that you're gonna have on this cruise. There is Hubbard Glacier, College Fjord, Glacier Bay, and Tracy Arm. And then unique wildlife experiences on this cruise. You visit these ports, Homer, Nome, Kodiak, Dutch Harbor, uh, scenic sailing near Little Diomede, all the way up to the Arctic Circle, overnight in Anchorage, Rango and Prince Rupert. These are ports that you don't visit on a typical Alaska cruise. And I've been there six times. I always like to say that every time you visit Alaska, you see something different. So this is at Creek Street during high tide and it was salmon season. And you can see there is a little harbor seal that is just got a huge fish in his mouth. <laughs> he is just swimming around with the fish in his mouth. There we go, having a great time. So, um, you know, we, we're so excited to come back to Alaska. Been there six times. The seventh trip is gonna top everything that I've ever done in Alaska. Um, oh, you may be asking, well, we, we're going to be on the ship for 28 days. What can I expect from my shipboard experience? So Steve and, I, Steve and Amanda and I are going to kind of share with you some of our favorite things. But really, Holland America is known for these pillars. Uh, first, they're going to make you an explorer. It is a great ship for foodies. Great ship for music lovers. So, you know, the, the first three, you got me covered. Service, you know, I'm all about the pampering. And then I love the fact that their ships have such a wonderful guest to um, space ratio. Um, it's never gonna feel crowded or packed in. Uh, very, very spacious, fewer passenger ships. So we're gonna switch, kind of go through each one of these. So explorers, it can mean different things to different people. So for some people, explorers, you're gonna be on the deck of the ship or maybe on your own balcony with your binoculars and you're gonna spot these whale spouts, you know, which and be able to see that. Other people, you're gonna be in the kayaks, you know, paddling around with the sea otters. And then for some people, it's just, you know, a nice short walk through an interpretive center. Um, any, anything Steve and Amanda wanna add about, about exploring Alaska? I think it's just great because of the options. You can pick and choose exactly how you want to spend your time. If you want a day where it's a little more relaxing, if you want to get out there and explore, that's exactly the opportunity you'll have throughout the entire cruise. Yeah, and and that's why I like it. Like one of the things I like about Holland America is is you can you can be as busy or as relaxed as, as you want. You can set your own pace. So here's my favorite men that work for Holland America. <laughs> It's their culinary council. All of these these wonderful gentlemen are part of the 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 culinary council. They are world class acclaimed chefs. Um, I, Holland just announced a new partner with uh, Matsuhara Morimoto um, for the the new uh, fresh and sustainable fish program. He, so he didn't make it on the slide yet, but you'll recognize some famous faces there. Uh, they have really put a lot of thought into the menu. Uh, anything you want to add about the new fish program or the Culinary Council, Amanda? Well, Alaska is where this entire fish program started. So you're really going to get to see it at its best and its finest. We are expanding it throughout our worldwide portfolio right now. So you get to really see where it all started, which is fantastic because you'll definitely see and taste the quality and the difference. Well, you know, one thing I noticed is because there's so much salmon available on an Alaska cruise, 
um, when I came home from my honeymoon cruise, my skin was just glowing. And uh, could it be love? Or could it be salmon? <laughs> we'll a little bit above. A little bit above. Yeah. So, but salmon and fish oils are supposed to be so good for the skin. So, so um, these are some of my pictures from my one of my recent um, Holland America cruises, just to show you that they have such a wide variety of food. Surf and turf. I or I wanted the the beef, but I couldn't couldn't resist add, adding a piece of the uh, fish and chips to my plate. Uh, the Lido Marketplace is their uh, quick service dining venue. If you say you've had a long day ashore, you don't want to go for a full sit down dinner. They do have um, lots of the stations open at dinner time. Um, it's open fully for lunch and uh, and breakfast. And everything is, it's not a buffet. You don't just go through and pile food on your plate. Uh, everything is made all a minute and they're going to hand you this fresh plate of, of, of food. And then the specialty dining. So these are two of my favorite. I mean, who wouldn't want a curtain of bacon? Well, probably not my vegan daughter, but you know, I'll eat a curtain of bacon. <laughs> that looks pretty good to me. Uh, these are that's that's at um, the Pinnacle Grill. Uh, this is Canaletto, and that's Pinnacle Grill. Wonderful, wonderful food. At, and Canaletto is Italian. Pinnacle Grill is a kind of a classic steakhouse. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, then the music walk. So this is another one of the things I love about Holland America is that they are a cruise line for people who love music and they keep all of the venues in close proximity of each other. So you're not having to run up to one part of the ship or back to another part of the ship to, to hear your favorite performer. They kind of all rotate in the same area and they call it the, the music walk. And it's wonderful because you get a wide variety of music and you don't even have to, you know, go very far to listen to different types of music. A uh, wonderful, wonderful variety of performances on Holland America. Uh, they also have some great shows in the world stage, which is their main theater. They have uh, the Step One Dance Company. They have these things called BBC Earth in Concert, where they play the videos from the BBC Earth television show and have a live orchestra playing along with it. And they have headliners like pianists and singers and violinists that come in and play in this in, in this main theater. And I know we're going to have a great variety on our 28-day cruise. They will bring people off and on in different ports to um, to make sure that we're getting a wide variety of entertainment. Our scene. Um, let, let's talk about the service. So for 28 days, we are going to be completely pampered by the world-renowned crew of the Westerdam. Uh, they get to know your likes, your needs. They they have they want to exceed your expectations. Uh, your your cabin, you know, you'll go out for breakfast and you'll come back to your room and your cabin will magically be beautifully cleaned again and your bed made up. Uh, they just do such a wonderful job. Uh, very intuitive service, very gracious. Uh, just I, the Holland America has has for years had some of the most outstanding service in the cruise industry. And um, talk about the ships. Uh, the Westerdam is just 11 decks and carries just 2,000 passengers. And you kind of compare that to maybe some of the big ships by some of the bigger cruise lines. They're carrying four, five, even 6,000 passengers. Uh, so much more intimate experience. And you look at, you see the bow of the ship and all the deck areas. There's plenty of space for you to get to get a view of the Alaskan scenery on a ship with only 2,000 passengers. Um, here's just some pictures of the Westerdown. Um, there's what the, what the rooms look like. There's the atrium. And so people used to tell me that Holland America was for old people. But so yeah, after experiencing the lively atmosphere on our most recent Holland American cruises, I would say that Holland America cruises for people of all ages. Um, you're only as old as you feel. And Holland America has a little something for everyone and we've said this before, you can be as active or as relaxed as you want. You can be as festive or as chill as you want. It's a wonderful, wonderful, diverse uh, atmosphere on Holland America. Now, if any of you are new to cruise, I put this slide up here because I want to talk to you about what's included with your basic fare. And remember, this, this cruise is all about more. So we're, we're going to talk to you about the basic fare and then what's included with the Have It All Plus. So again, your accommodations, your fine dining in the main dining room, casual dining, 
Uh, the gym is included. Uh, you get movies on your television. You have movies like on, on big screens. Um, they do cooking demonstrations. You'll get enrichment lectures by experts on Alaska um, in the main theater. There's all kinds of activities. Like I said, be as busy, as relaxed as you want. Dance lessons, games, trivia, um, sports. They've got pickleball. Pickleball is so popular right now. Uh, basketball and ping pong. Again, that nightly entertainment that we talked about with the wonderful music program that they have. Uh, and then included with your basic fare are your standard beverages, juice with breakfast, tea, brewed coffee, ice, ice water, iced tea. Um, room service is also included at no extra charge. And then uh, they even have afternoon tea some days. So if you're hungry in the afternoon, you can go up and get a snack. But remember, we're talking about getting more. So, so right now, Holland America is doing the have it all early booking bonus, or sometimes it's called for short have it all plus. And the thing, I'm going to just highlight this for you, free prepaid gratuities or crew appreciation. So this is a value of $16 per day. And if you're in a suite at $17.50 per day, and it goes to, um, it's the gratuities that you would just pay at the end of the cruise, it's included for free with the price of your cruise. Um, you get the upgraded premium Wi-Fi. Now, this is important to me because I work when I'm on a cruise ship, but if you have to, uh, if you want to keep in touch with your social media or, or your friends back home, the premium Wi-Fi is going to allow streaming. You can even watch movies on your, on your tablet with that premium Wi-Fi. Um, you get the elite beverage package. So it gives you a broader selection of more top shelf uh, liquors, uh, top shelf, or better wines. You get, you get a broader selection if you have the elite specialty dining. So you're going to get three nights of specialty dining. On this ship, you will get two nights in the Pinnacle Grill and one night in Canaletto because those are the two venues that they have on this ship. And then your shore excursions. So the longer you cruise, the more you get. Ours is more than 21 days. So we get $300 uh, of shore excursion person. credit per person. And then a low price guarantee. Now we're getting towards the end of this promotion, but it, say if you had booked in June and now the price was lower on your sailing, um, they would mm -hmm. honor that price and re refare you um, while this promotion is running. And we'll still watch for that and watch for lower fares. I don't think they're going to be lower fares on this particular sailing, um, but it would not have have it all plus. So we would have to compare. And that's part of our low price guarantee is that we do fare monitoring and we'll always alert you if there's a better fare that's available to you. Um, so now we're going to talk about the ways to book our cruise. So right now, if you book directly with Holland America, you're going to book the have it all early booking bonus rate. Um, that includes all those, those amenities that I just talked about. We have extremely discounted group rates and they don't include the have it all early booking bonus. Uh, but that's great for people who maybe, you know, I don't like to do specialty dining. I don't like to do short excursions. I don't drink. I'll just do everything a la carte. And for those people, you can book at that extremely discounted price and um, you don't get those perks on board, but you get you get the advantage of that lower price. But the best way to book, and this is what's so exciting, is that Holland America lets us add the have it all early booking bonus to our extremely discounted group rates. And it still gives us the savings of like five hundred to seventeen hundred and ninety dollars per person over booking with Holland America direct. And Amanda's from Holland America. This is legitimate. It's because I've taken out a group on this sailing and I'm actively promoting. They, they offer me a lower rate to sell to my clients so that I have, you know, it's just, it's an incentive for you to book with me. Um, so let's talk about what the savings, or what the other benefits are right now. So if you are a past guest of Holland America um, on this 21 day plus cruise, if you book during the early booking promotion, um, so it goes through, what's the date for it, Amanda? For the, it's October it, 6th. October 5th, 6th, 5th. yeah. October 11th. October 11th, they so did the extend Mariner it out Society a little bit. Benefit? Oh, the Mariner. 90 days. It's 90 oh, days, isn't it? It's 90 days, correct. It's okay, 90. so we got to get you booked so by October 6th to, to get to get that. Fourth or fifth of October, yeah. Yeah, 
now before the end of September, and then you're good. Um, you get an extra, if you are a past guest of Holland America, you get an extra $400 per state per, per state room onboard credit. So that's, that's a, a big deal for, for those of you who are past guests. Now, this is where I want to show you how our have it all plus with the early booking bonus saves you money. And I've just grabbed one of the categories that we have available to sell. Uh, this is an ocean view category uh, C. This is the current price if you were just to go on Holland America's website and book it directly. This is our extremely discounted price with no perks. But look at this. When you add the perks in, we still have a huge advantage over booking with Holland America Direct. And then with a balcony cabin. Now, I recommend a balcony for Alaska because you want to be just steps away. If the captain says there's some whales and you're in your pajamas, you want to be able to just run out on the balcony and get your binoculars and your camera out and get pictures of those, those whales. Um, so this is what it would be if you book directly with Holland America with all the perks. This is my discounted group rate with no perks. But then when you add it back in, look at the savings, $1,790 per person. So it is it is a huge savings that I'm, that I'm offering you um, by allowing you to uh, book into my group and be part of our wonderful group. And there's more. <laughs> um, if you book by um, October 3rd, uh, we are adding a special onboard credit for folks who attended our cruise night tonight. So um, for and it's dependent on what kind of cabin you're in and the number of days. So you can see this is 15 days plus. Interior staterooms get a bonus of $50. And then it goes all the way up to $150 per cabin uh, for folks that are booking suites. So that's really a nice little thank you. We want to thank you for attending our webinar and for booking with us. Um, and wait, there's one more final, final thing we're adding. Uh, as a special gift to guests who are booked into our group exclusively, we're going to add a sea day lunch at the Pinnacle Grill, which is going to be nice in 28 days. You're going to have a, a chance. Oh, let's do our sea day lunch. And you get to have a nice sit down lunch at the Pinnacle Grill. And then additional night, we're going to add another night at the Italian restaurant, the Canaletto, which is one of my favorites. So you get two more specialty dining experiences by booking into our group. And now, just to let you know, if the 28-night cruise is just too long for you, we do have some special night, special pricing on 2025 14-night cruises with similar savings like what I showed you before. Uh, so there's a couple 14-night cruises. And then still, if that's just too much, you know, too long to be away, we do have special pricing on many of the seven-day experiences. So no matter what you're booking with us, um, we're going to be able to give, give you a great deal. And finally, I have one more thing, one more slide to share for you. As a matter of fact, I just booked someone today on this 35-night voyage of the Vikings. And these are some examples of longer cruises. You can take a round trip from the U.S. and go visit some very exciting destinations, including Europe and Japan. And again, I've, I've taken out groups on these, so I have special pricing on all of these as well. Um, so... We hope you're ready to get more of Alaska. You're going to get more experiences with Holland America, more discounts, more perks on board, and more on board credit. And of course, most important all, a more personalized vacation planning experience when you work with me. So I would love to be your travel agent, and I would love to help you um, book this cruise. Um, we are super excited. Steve and I, I don't know if we mentioned it, we are escorting this group. So we will be on board to not only make sure that you are having a great time, but that everything is exceeding your expectations and there to answer any questions and help resolve any issues you might be having during the cruise. So we encourage you to reach out to us this week. There is there is kind of a timeline that we need to get this in because all of those things are going to expire. Um, I'll be so happy worth to mentioning that that the uh, right now the uh, the Western Am for this cruise is about fifty percent booked. So uh, the the cruises are selling fast. Yeah, for twenty twenty five, it's already fifty percent booked. Yes, that's that's good. And also, um, the twenty twenty four one that's similar is ninety percent sold out. And um, essentially sold the out. The prices. Yeah. Yeah, essentially sold out, and the prices are much higher than what we have for 2025, for the 2024. So again, I encourage you to reach out to me. I can do a, a complete quote for you in whatever category works best, inside, ocean view, balcony, suite. Um, I can guide you through the whole whole 
uh, planning process and help you with all aspects of the of the cruise planning, including your air and your pre-cruise hotel when that when that comes available. So again, we are um, Suzanne and Steve Clausen. Um, we, we encourage you to visit our YouTube site, um, follow us on Facebook, and stay up to date with us with the latest cruise news. Uh, we are very active in, in terms of our um, advocacy for cruising and uh, very excited to be uh, full-time travel agents. It is our passion and something we really love. So I'm going to quit sharing and... Might be premature with questions, but... Oh. Oh yeah, I can go back. If anybody has questions, I can go back and 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 share. But hmm. I'm I'm here to answer any questions you might so have. If you have anybody? any questions, you'll need to unmute yourself or unmute press the space bar to temporarily unmute yourself, one or the other. So any questions? You can wave your hand if you want to get our attention. <laughs> Well, it looks like I covered everything. That's it. Um, why don't we go ahead and stop the recording? Sometimes people are a little shy to ask questions during the recording, and then we can we can answer.